So we're talking about the gene mutation linked to an increased risk of breast cancer. Now, Jolie revealed that she had undergone a double mastectomy because of the mutation uh, that put a much higher risk for the disease. Well, today, the high court ruled that human genes cannot be patented. I want to bring in our CNN legal analyst, Paul Callan, to talk a little bit about this. And there's a lot of different layers to this. So let's just kind of go through the case. It involves a company that uh, basically identifies BRCA1 and BRCA2 gene mutations. And the court made a decision about whether or not they could be patented. Tell us what the significance of that is. Fascinating decision, Suzanne, uh, that's going to have a big impact on women around the United States. This company, Myriad, uh, developed a technique to isolate this gene that you just referred to. And that, by the way, was the gene that uh, Angelina Jolie had tested and told her that she had a very, very high risk for the development of breast cancer. Now, if an average woman wanted to get the same test that she got, mm -hmm. it might cost as much as $3,000 to get the test because... Myriad, the company that developed it, said um, that they had the exclusive right to sell it. So the Supreme Court looks at this and says, you know, you cannot patent a naturally occurring human gene. And what the company had done was they had sort of pulled out this gene from someone's DNA and said, that's the gene that suggests breast cancer, and they got a patent on the process. Instead, the Supreme Court said, you can't patent the gene itself we will let you patent, however, a unique testing process that maybe mm -hmm. only you have. Sure. Uh, and uh, they also said if you take the gene and you make some kind of a synthetic version of it or alteration to it, you can patent that. Uh, and that preserved the right uh, of the company to make a profit on this. By the way, the company said it cost them $400 million in research and development to come up with the technique they used to isolate this gene. So, Paul, two questions here. What does this mean in terms of competition for companies who are in the business of this gene testing? And what does it mean for somebody who wants to get their DNA tested? Is it going to be more or less expensive? Boy, it's a hard question. You know, the, the Supreme Court really split the baby here, and they said to the company, uh, we're still going to let you make a profit, but they also left open the possibility that competitors can come in and develop less expensive alternatives. So I think in the end, women across America and others, by the way, this will affect men as well, uh, when we develop technology relating to cancer, are going to see cheaper tests available in the future because of the Supreme Court's decision. All right. Paul Callan, thanks. We appreciate it.